Today we're showing a new line of MB chillers made for us by Quantor in Germany. With this type of chiller, for every tank that you're trying to cool, you'll have a submersible pump that you put into the bath. And then you connect an outline and an inline to your fermenter or your whatever type of fermentation you have going on. So for wine, you might be cooling small amounts of must. You might be cooling a tank for fermentation. You might be cold crashing. For beer, you might be uh, fermenting conicals, several conicals you might have from fermenting at one time, and then you might be cold crashing one unit. They're really flexible in that you don't have to run a glycol loop out and back with a restriction valve in the middle. Those, those systems get a little bit complicated like you would see in a commercial brewery. This is really designed for high-end home guys or small commercial guys where you can add the pump systems as you go. This unit is the most powerful. We have several of those type of units where you can control multi-fermentations with one unit. This is the most powerful at 1.2 horsepower, so it's really designed for nano applications. We also have its smaller brother, which is a little bit uh, more suited for home fermentations. So on the inside of the unit, you can see where we've got uh, down tubes reaching into the glycol and then a return that is above. And we've also got a coil cooling on the inside, and this is where your water bath will go. If you're doing fermentation control, you don't need glycol. If you're trying to cold stabilize wines or your cold crash beers, then you're gonna wanna use a 20 to 30% glycol solution. And the submersible pumps drop down directly into that. On our website, you can look for submersible kits. Um, e each pump will come with a kit and lines that you can use uh, in conjunction with the unit for every fermenter that you have. So there's a controller on the front of the unit and that's where you're gonna set the temperature for your glycol or water bath on the inside. And then for each fermenter you have, you're gonna have the submersible pump kit that's going to come with a pump and with a digital controller in a, a probe that you're gonna put into a thermal well and that's where you're gonna set the temperature for each tank. One thing I love about this chiller is the whole case is stainless steel, so you're not gonna have any rusting issues down the road. All the components are really of the highest quality, um, being German made. Um, it uses efficient gas in the compressor, so you're using the least amount of energy possible. Just really a, a well-built unit. For more information on the MB chillers, you can find links to the websites down below.